بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على مبعوث رحمة للعالمين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is a brief introduction of how our Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام used to pray and this is collected and taken from the authentic sunnah and this is extremely important because it was he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said pray as you have seen me pray I haven't seen you pray O Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but I have read the description of your prayer from your companions and the hadiths that came to us are found in Bukhari, in Muslim, in Sunan Abi Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, Al Nasa'i, in Al Mustadrak, in Musnad Imam Ahmad, Mutal Imam Malik, so many books of hadith. You collect them, you check their authenticity, and then you implement it in your prayers. Now, the issue of prayer is important because it is one of the pillars of Islam. Not only that, it is a vast and huge topic because like any forms of worship, it has conditions. It has things that nullify it. It has pillars. It has mandatory acts and it has sunnah acts. And without the knowledge of all of these things, your prayer would not be complete. And this is the cause where a lot of the Muslims have dispute, argument. They have hatred and enmity towards one another. Simply because you're not praying like I'm praying. Simply because I follow a school different than your school. And this is totally wrong. Salat was made to gather people together. This is why we have congregational prayer. This is why when the Prophet ﷺ used to straighten the rows of the worshippers, he used to say to them, do not differ, do not go against one another, so that Allah Azza wa Jal would not differ your hearts. And this is what we're having at the moment. So this is a brief description. I don't claim that it is the perfect description, but at least sharing with you that I know would insha'Allah elevate the level of our prayers to the level we want bi'ithnillahi azza wa jal. So first of all, there are conditions and these conditions must be fulfilled and the definition of condition according to the jurors is that a thing without it the form of worship does not exist and if it is found and fulfilled that is the condition this doesn't mean that it has to be found what does this mean Sheikh? I'm confused I'll, I'll give you an example don't worry one of the conditions of Salat is wudu ablution so if I pray without ablution my prayer is void. Simple as that. Because the condition was not fulfilled. But if I make a pollution, this does not mean I have to pray. I may pray and I may, I may not pray. So when the condition is there, it doesn't mean that I have to perform the form of worship. But if it is not fulfilled, if it's not there, this means that even if I perform the worship, the form of worship, it is invalid. So what are the conditions of Salat? There are many. Among them is, first of all, niyyah or intention. And the intention, some make it as a condition because it comes before the prayer. 
and some make it as a pillar. And it's more likely to be a condition. So you have to know what you're doing. You have to intend it. And I will not go into the conditions of Salat because this is a long topic. But I have to know whether I'm praying Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha or Fajr. I just can't say Allahu Akbar and during the prayer say, hmm, what is this? Oh, I think it's Witr. No, this is not valid. Second condition, facing the Qibla. So if I know the direction of Kaaba, I have to direct myself to it. If I know it's there and I direct myself this way, then my prayer is invalid. Third uh, uh, condition is the entrance of the time of prayer. So I want to pray Maghrib and I can see the sun is about to set or half of it is, has disappeared. And I say, Allahu Akbar, your prayer is invalid. Why? Because the sun has to completely set and disappear for Maghrib to be due. And you can't pray before the time is due. Condition number four, to cover your awrah. So for a man, I have to cover from the navel to the knees. This is my awrah. This is the private part that must not be shown. Without it, my prayer is invalid. Number five is to have purity. And purity is divided into two types. Wudu, which is uplifting the status of impurity. Or ghusl, which is uplifting the major state of impurity, the ritual impurity. This is number one. Wudu or ghusl. Number two, purity of my body. No najasa, no impurities on it. Purity of my clothes and purity of the spot that I'm praying on. Three, th three types. These are the conditions. You can look for more details in the books of fiqh. But this is something you have to understand and know. Without it, your prayer is invalid. So be careful. We come to the prayer. I want to pray now. What do I do? I fulfill the conditions. Okay, my awrah is covered. I have wudu. I'm facing the qibla. The time is due for prayer. So what do I do? I intend. And how do I intend? Intention is in the heart. It's not something that you verbally say. So if I want to eat an apple, I don't say I intend to eat this green apple in front of me on the table. I just reach out and bite it. This is the intention. So my intention now, in my heart, I don't have to say anything verbally or mentally. I just intend to pray dhuhr. It is dhuhr time. I make wudu, I come and I stand. The intention is there. I begin my prayer with a pillar. What is this pillar? You tell me. Wrong answer. The pillar, first pillar of Salat is not takbir. The first pillar of Salat is standing up when you're able to do so. So for fard prayers, you don't have the option of sitting down because you're lazy or you feel tired. If you're able to stand up, it's a pillar that you stand up. This is pillar number one. I'm standing up. I do pillar number two, which is known as takbiratul ihram. The first inauguration takbir. By saying, Allahu Akbar. So now, I have started prayer. The hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, وَتَحْرِيمُهَا takbir. So it has to be inaugurated with takbir, the first takbir. Okay, Shaykh, you said, Allahu Akbar, you didn't raise your hands. Yes, raising the hands is not a pillar. This is a sunnah. Whoa, I didn't know that. Well, now you know. 